Hey guys, good morning, good morning. It's Layla here coming to you with another video. I wanted to talk to you about the city life versus the suburban life. As you all know, I made the greatest change um, in my life. And man, oh man, I could sit down and bullet point the pros and cons why I am group born and raised in Brooklyn, New York you know, lived, always grew up in a home. And, uh, you know, when I left home, went to college for a little bit, and then, you know, got my own place, you know, stayed in the city. Then I moved to Manhattan, lived in Harlem for another 14 years, and just surrounded by people and, um, you know, noise and traffic. But, you know, something edgy about living in the city, you know, it's fast paced, you know, city girl nothing like New York City which I love I love you know then wanted to step it up because I really wanted to get closer to nature you know um, living uh, near the water I moved into a luxury building being on the water which was just epic for me you know having access to the rooftop and the gym and all that good stuff right then after the two years I decided that I was not going to renew, renew my lease after two years. And so I decided that uh, I knew I wanted to leave, just wasn't sure about where I wanted to move to. And uh, I also have my uh, dream board, which I probably will talk about in another video, but the dream boards are very, very impactful because it actually keeps you focused on what your vision is, what your next move is, what you want to focus on for manifestation. And so I knew that I was not going to stay there. It's ran its course, even through the pandemic, you know, and I just needed a change, but I just wasn't sure where it was going to be. And the opportunity came, I checked out the place and lo and behold, it was the energy that I wanted, the vibe, the newness of the apartment, just phenomenal. And so I've been getting up every morning, guys, with the birds chirping. That is unheard of. Now, I would hear birds chirping, but not to this point. It's like you're sleeping, you're in your bed, and it's just, it really, really humbles you to know that you go from a fast-paced um, noisy city, cars, pollutants to streaming down and living, I consider the suburban nature, where you got an overflow of trees, grass, parks. This is next level. That's all I have to say. This is totally next level. And I am so grateful that you know, the universe provided, God, spirit guides, whatever your beliefs are. But for me, when you put your intention out of what you want to do, you have to know without a shadow of a doubt that whatever you set your mind to, it's going to manifest. And, you know, when it happened, you know, I was very, I got a little emotional because I was just like, it was exactly where I would want to be, just my style of living. And I want to let you know that, you know, where you are doesn't have to be a fixture. Maybe it's a, 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 an area or um, a borough or city or state where you grew up and you just feel for some reason or another that you have to stay in that particular area. That does not have to be. We have to evolve and know that Nothing is permanent. We constantly grow. We are evolving. And don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. Because being comfortable keeps you stagnant. You know, you wonder why things are not free flowing. Sometimes you just have to move. You just got to get up and just go and, and just say, you know what? It's best that I do it than not do it because at least I know I can go through the experience. But if you don't take a step in the right direction, you will never know. And let me tell you the freedom 
I feel like that I'm standing here in the subway, not subway, I gotta get, see my mindset. <laughs> the train station um, here waiting for my train. And I just had an epiphany that I had needed to do this video and let you know that, listen, change is good. Every new year we should be striving to do, to be the better version of ourselves. Don't be af afraid to explore. Don't be afraid of what other people are going to think. Sometimes you have to keep things quiet. When I moved into my um, last apartment, here's a train. When I moved into my last apartment, sorry guys. When I moved into my last apartment, I didn't tell anyone. And that's unheard of for me. You know, I'm always sharing uh, family. And I just, I kept that to myself because I didn't want to be, uh, I didn't want to have any second thoughts about what I wanted to do. So sometimes you have to, while you are, um, thinking about what you want to do when you getting ready to make some moves you have to stay quiet sometimes you can't let your left hand know know what the right hand is doing you have to keep quiet work in secrecy until things manifest and then you can speak it up and um, I'm glad I did just that and when you have looked at where you've come from and where you are now we should be in awe about what the possibilities are and never be afraid of stepping outside to something new. It's refreshing, it's exhilarating. It, it opens you up to what the universe has in store for you. When we stay stuck and we sometimes, some people in the same place for years, for decades, you know, 20 years. And I just feel that it just depends on where you are in your life. When you wanna restart something and you wanna break free of being stuck, sometimes you have to go on the other side and just do something different. Step outside that comfort zone and you will see the universe open to you like never before. And so I wanted to make this video a little short, but. While I was standing out here, I said, oh no, I have to share this. I am a suburban girl. Some people told me in the past, man, you gotta come outside, come into the suburbs. And I was like, oh, I'm a city girl. Oh no, never knew that was gonna happen. But you know what? I was open for change. This one fell in my lap. I wasn't sure, but I had a vision that I wanted to move. And I just asked put it out there, ask you shall receive, knock and the door shall be open up to you. And so I hope that hits a nerve with someone who's possibly thinking about making a move, doing something different, go for it, go for it. When you make that first step, that breakthrough, ooh, you're gonna see some major things happen. So on that note, it, are you a city girl or guy? Let me know in the chat. Talk to you soon, guys. Train is here. Bye.